Good afternoon, I'm Malcolm Jordan and this is your Midday News Fix for Thursday the 7th of December. The Foreign Minister will today urge the House to recognise Israel's right to defend itself, but in a way that's in accordance with international law. Political editor Jason Wall says more. Before this Parliament's first question time this afternoon, Winston Peters will move a motion calling on all parties involved in the conflict between Israel and Palestine to take urgent steps towards establishing a ceasefire. He'll also call for the House to condemn Hamas for the October 7 terror attacks and express grave concerns at the ongoing violence in Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. Well-known Australian Alan Jones is facing accusations of using his position of power to prey on multiple young men, engaging in indecent assaults and inappropriate behaviour without their consent. The 82-year-old renowned broadcaster and former Wallabies coach denies the allegations. The Sydney Morning Herald's reporting a former 2GB employee who claims to have been a victim of repeated assaults by Jones emphasised the severity of the allegations. It reports, they say, what he did to me was a criminal offence, he cannot die without people knowing what he's done. Another mass shooting in the United States with at least three people shot at the University of Nevada in Las Vegas. Details are still scarce, but it's understood the suspected shooter is dead. Director of University Police Services Adam Garcia says it's caused a massive security shutdown. The entire Nevada system of higher education in southern Nevada Campuses are all closed out of an abundance of caution. A Kiwi sports star charged with dishonestly taking a vehicle and intentional damage is keeping his name suppression for now. The court appearance has been adjourned with an interim suppression order continuing. The man who listed his occupation on court documents as athlete is facing two charges in the Christchurch District Court. He was due to appear in court tomorrow. A court registrar has confirmed his appearance has been pushed to February. Two men have been arrested overnight after alleged dangerous driving caused a head-on collision in West Auckland. Police were alerted to a vehicle speeding and driving on the wrong side of the road in Sunnyvale around half past eight last night. No one was injured and charges are being considered. Fonterra has increased its forecast for the Farmgate milk price for the 2024 financial year after a strong first quarter. The predicted mid-price point is up 25 cents to $7.30 per kilogram of milk solids. New research from Auckland University's School of Population Health shows the number of New Zealanders who follow a strictly vegetarian diet is just 2% rather than 20% suggested by market research. Taylor Swift has been named Time Magazine's Person of the Year a week after becoming Spotify's most played artist. Cantabrians could soon be sharing a seat on the bus with a four-legged friend. An Environment Canterbury Committee has supported a notice of motion to include a pets on buses policy in its draft regional public transport plan. To sport, the Black Caps are resting 10 of their 16 World Cup squad members during the home one-day international cricket series against Bangladesh this month. The side features potential 50-over debutants Josh Clarkson, Will O'Rourke and Addy Ashok. Liverpool have beaten Sheffield United 2-0 to restore a two-point gap behind leaders Arsenal in football's Premier League. And former champion Caroline Wozniacki has been awarded a wild card for the Australian Tennis Open. I'm Malcolm Jordan, that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.